Hey y'all, it is Keisha Talks Finance, and today we are talking about the American Express Everyday Credit Card. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first. If you are interested in applying for the American Express Everyday Credit Card, hit the link in the comments below to start your process. Boom. Okay, so let's talk about the American Express Everyday Personal Credit Card, okay? So, I've had this card for about six months now, and I'm going to say it's it's been good to me, honey, okay? I'm really liking it. I'm enjoying it, all right? We're getting along very well. <laughs> so, I wanted to come on here and tell y'all why I think this card is a great card to apply for, and especially for those who do not have any American Express accounts, okay? So, first things first, let's get into it. There is no annual fee. Yes, you heard me. No annual fee. <laughs> So, as a lot of you may know that a lot of, or maybe most of American Express cards have annual fees, okay? So, this particular card does not have an annual fee, but pay very close attention when you are looking at the different cards and applying because there is a American Express preferred card that looks identical to the everyday card. And that card has a $95 annual fee. So when you're looking on the website, just be careful that you're selecting the right one because they're literally identical. So it's easy to make a easy to make a mistake, okay? All right. So, in addition to no annual fee, they have a 10,000 bonus welcome offer, okay? So how you get that welcome offer is you have to spend $2,000 in the first six months, okay? Now, listen, <laughs> $2,000 six months, all right? I feel like American Express gave you a whole lot of time to meet those requirements, get them extra points, because I personally think $2,000 in six months is very, very easy to do, all right? So once you hit that $2,000 mark, boom, American Express gives you 10,000 bonus points. Oh. So like I was saying, as I was really interrupted by a house phone, <laughs> once you spend $2,000 in six months, you get that 10,000 bonus points, okay? So speaking of points, this particular card point system, you can earn two times the points on all your grocery store purchases and one times the point on all other purchases. Now, food is high, okay? It's expensive, all right? It's crazy. So, in my opinion, okay, your food bill alone, all right, will get you to the amount of points that you want to get to. <laughs> so... Again, obviously, everyone's monthly food bill is different, but if you have a family, small or large, or you don't, everyone's spending, you know, a pretty penny on food every month, okay? So with that, you get double the amount of points on your food purchases. And then again, whatever you spend on any other purchases, you're getting those points too, okay? But American Express does offer featured benefits, okay? So, for example, the featured benefit that I have at this moment is I get 20% additional bonus points on all of my purchases. And all I had to do was use my credit card at least 20 times in the first, in the, sorry, at least 20 times in a billing cycle, okay? So I use my card 20 times in that billing cycle and they say, hey, on top of the points that you already get with this particular card, we're going to give you an added feature benefit. We're going to give you additional 20% in bonus points, okay? Just because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, honey, okay? <laughs> so I'm earning 
the normal poinsettia urn and now I get a little bit extra, all right, just for using the card, okay? So that's something to also keep in mind. So I'm just rack up the points, rack up the points, all right? So <laughs> again, perfect way to start out, perfect way to start building up points and you can use those points however you want to. So some of the ways you can use your American Express points is obviously you can use them as cash, okay? So if you say, hey, I got 20,000 points and I want to use those points as cash on my American Express bill, okay? So 10,000 points is equivalent to $60 in cash. So if you have 20,000 points, you got $120 in cash that you could just throw on the bill, like throw it on the bill, okay? <laughs> and obviously, the more points you have, the more money it's worth, all right? So that's a way that you can redeem your points. Other ways you can redeem your points is with gift cards, obviously, hotel stays, flights so there's many different ways that you can redeem your points so my suggestion to you is and i'm sure you already know this is stack up the points stack up the points from all your purchases and then when you are ready and know exactly what you want to do with those points redeem them honey okay boom so let's talk about the application process okay so what American Express offers is they allow you to apply for this particular card without it impacting your credit score, okay? And what I mean by that is you go through the application process, okay? And then whatever American Express offers, so they could say, hey, I'm offering you this credit limit at this APR, whatever, whatever. You could say, hmm that doesn't really work for me, or yeah, that's what I'm talking about, okay? And you can say, okay, this works for me, I'm going to opt in, okay? And it's when you opt in and agree to the terms and condition is when it will send credit bureaus the info, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you'll be able to at least see where you are if you are when you apply for this um, particular car and if it doesn't fit what you're looking for you can say you know what i'm good and opt on out and it doesn't impact your credit score because obviously when you apply for anything you get hit with that inquiry right away okay so i think i like that you know um because when you apply for something with the intention, like, okay, you don't, you go into it not knowing what I'm gonna get, what the interest is looking like, but we don't pay attention to the interest because we're paying it off beforehand, okay? But, anywho, <laughs> so, um, but, you know, you go into it and sometimes a lender will offer you something that you don't, you don't want that. You were looking, you had maybe had a specific number in mind or whatever. But now you you stuck with it because it just goes through automatically. So I love the fact that you can say, hey, I'm going to fill out this application and see, you know, if it works for you or not, and then make a decision from there. And my honest opinion, I think every lender should be like that. It's just my opinion. <laughs> so overall, I think this card is a great card to start off with, especially if you don't have a relationship with American Express, come on in, okay? Join the club, have a seat, get comfortable, all right? <laughs> so again, if you would like to apply for the American Express Everyday Personal Credit Card, click the link in the comment below to start your process, honey, okay? Y'all already know what I'm gonna say. If y'all like this video, like it. If you like me, uh, subscribe, honey. And y'all know I love to talk. So drop a comment in the comment below and chat with me, okay? I'm gonna respond to you, all right? I'm gonna respond, <laughs> okay? And with that being said, ooh, before I go, if you have a business and would like to check out the American Express Blue Cashback Credit Card, 
click the link somewhere here and watch that video, okay?